depending on that pattern. I said a pattern. It's just it starts to go. Testing one, two, what else? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. It is a good morning. It's nice to see all you people here today. We're going to exalt the Lord. We have a real nice service planned for you today. And so we're going to be talking about Jehoshaphat. It's kind of a graduation sermon. It's toward the end of school and the things that we got to think about when we go out into the world. And it's good for everybody to hear what we're supposed to do and how we are supposed to be. So I'm excited to have everybody here today. We have a nice service plan. And we're going to start off with some worship right now. So we can stand together. We're going to sing a song called Mind in This Church. Just take one, two. so much in Jesus name we pray amen hallelujah you may be seated everybody oh I'm in this church hey, hey. Amen. Amen. All right. amen no I didn't join I was born in this church born in Jesus Christ praise the Lord praise Jesus show and shine for Jesus what more can we show and shine for Oh, praise the Lord. It's good to be here and good to see everybody here. We have a, we have a new mower. Yeah. And a new mowing machine. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, thank you, Bob and Domino. You know, it looks great out there, doesn't it? Oh, man. And our trailer is full of grass. It's full. <laughs> that means we got to go and dump it, I guess. <laughs> I'll, do it. I'll do it sometime this week. I've got to borrow a pastor's truck and take it to later. But then I might take some things that are in a, I got a little pile of, of garbage out back of my house. I'm going to take that too. 
You're happy for me. I am. <laughs> what a wonderful garden. Our garden is growing every day. We got this free dinner system, more work down, and we're going to have some really, really good big dinners coming up this summer. I just know it. It's been a lot of fun putting it together. Also, I just want to say that uh, uh, what a wonderful flowers. We got some new flower arrangements here for Mamber, and she's also she's selling them for people that want them and stuff too. She's donated them to the church, and I just wanted to say that again because because they just look real nice, and it's just nice to have something too. And uh, also, I just want to just, just, I don't have a lot to say. I don't think I'm forgetting anything else, am I? No, we just have to do the drawing. Are you guys ready to do the drawing? It's the end of the month, and so everybody's been filling out their votes and then their questionnaires and stuff. So with Miss Olive Kayla Brookstrom, come on down here and help me be my, my wonderful assistant, everybody. She really wanted to do this, so. Take this out. Here we go. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Look back and we see all our, our fans waving at us all the way down. 
with our, you know, name and who we are and where we are and everything on there. So, let's continue worshiping the Lord with all of everything we've got. With our whole body, and our whole mind, and our whole heart, and with our hand. Amen. Right. right. Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? Jesus loves everybody. All right, let's worship the Lord, everybody. Amen. Thank you. Matthew chapter 10, verses 32 through 39. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. For I come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. Matthew chapter 10 verses 32 through 39. Praise the Lord. That's pretty heavy teaching by our Lord Jesus. It's his words. We're going to be talking about how we are supposed to be in the world and everything. The name of the title of the message today is An Unchanging Message to a Changing World. And we're going to be talking about that today. We're going to sing some more right now, though. If we could stand together and sing, Mighty is our God. Sing with me. Here we go.
desire that we would be like you, Lord. Teach us to honor you and exalt you in all things we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. You may be seated, everyone. This is our time for prayer, and I want to ask you to bow your heads and pray with us right now. Heavenly Father, Lord, we, we thank you for everything you're doing in our lives and in this church, Lord. No matter what happens to us, Lord, we have so much to be thankful for, to have such a wonderful Savior that knows us better than we know ourselves, where all things are possible with you. And you're famous for things that are too big for us, Lord. Teach us to trust you rather than just believe a little. Help us to be bold in our faith, Lord, and know that you love us and that you're going to take care of our needs. Lord, I pray that you would just bless each and every person that is here today, Lord, and that they would know how much they are loved by you. Lord, I just pray today we want to hold you up and we want to hold certain ones up to you, Lord, for prayer. Lord, we want to first of all thank you with a praise and thank you for the stewardship of Don and Bobby and working on the lawn and, and helping it with their lawnmower and everything and just making the place so pretty. We want to have a pretty place for you, Lord, and we're just so thankful that, that they stepped up and, and was able to help us in this need that we had. And, you're so faithful, Lord, and they love you so much, and we love them, and we love you too, Lord. And so we thank you for how you're working in our lives and blessing this church. So it's so important that we come to church so we can encourage each other, Lord. It's not that you're not saved if you don't come, but it's that we need the encouragement. Lord, we, we are so thankful to have each and every person here. We really need everybody, and when somebody's missing it, we feel we feel it, Lord, when they're not here. And so, Lord, I thank you for this church and sending everyone. Lord, we want to hold up a couple people. We are so thankful that uh, Vicki was able to borrow a car next door and that they were able to bring David and, and just be able to help in this time. And she needs a car so bad. I, I pray that you would work out a miracle in her life, Lord, so she might be able to have some transportation again and help her with that, Lord. But we thank you so much for letting her things work out to where she's able to come and bring her mother and David and all, Lord. We want to hold up David's mother and his brother, Bruce, too, who's, who's his mother's cat just had a stroke. And, and I know that it's just a pet, Lord, but pets can mean so much to us. We can get so attached to them when we love them. It's not that... Uh, they're any more than that there's something that you've given us for ourselves and just for our encouragement and just for they're they're for us lord and when we lose them it hurts too lord just like a person and so lord i pray that you would encourage bruce and and his mother and stuff and just help them to feel better about this whole situation and help that cat to be healed and if not lord i just pray that you would just work a miracle in their lives and increase their faith and just bless them in, in a big way. Lord, I also want to hold up my father and stuff who's been just given only a couple days left to live. And I pray, Lord, that you would just bless him and help him make this transition and help the rest of my family to be able to go through what it is. It's like I've said so many times, Lord, it, it comes expected. I mean, it's, it's expected, but it always comes unexpectedly that sometimes we don't really think about it in a different light until they're gone. And so, Lord, I pray that you would just help my father make this transition and help my family members to be able to adjust to it, Lord. And so we thank you for how you've been working in all that, and the blessings that you've given to help us endure all of this and things, Lord. And I'm so thankful that he was able to find you and and was led through the sinner's prayer and believes in you before he got to the point where he wasn't able to comprehend things. And so, Lord, I just thank you for everybody that is here. And I pray that everyone that didn't get their prayer request in, that you would touch them at their need and help them and encourage them, Lord. And I know that there's some people that might have a little bit of problem in doctrine that we have and things, Lord, but I just pray that 
that you would just encourage us to, to continue on with the literal word that we believe and that we would be strong in our faith and just continue on and bless bless this church, Lord, with the correct doctrine and help us to, to, to give your word out the way you would want it given out. And so, Lord, I pray that you keep us strong that way. Bless all the saints that are here. Encourage every single person here and let them know how much you love them. And we thank you again, Lord, for hearing us today and hearing our prayers as we exalt you today. Bless the service, anoint it, and thank you again. We ask for these things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Thank you for praying with me. We have our ushers come forward today, please. We're going to sing a hymn right now. Crown him with many crowns. Pray that you give with a whole heart. Thank you. Children, you're excused at Children's Church, and we will be started in just a moment. Yeah. 